today's video is going to be different from what I used to make. Uh, all powers have sent me the SP200 power station and the SP26 solar panel. So um, I'm going to test it and review it today. Today it's uh, mid-February and we have a nice sunny day, so I'm quite excited to see how much power I can get out of the sun today. So um, let's take a walk and uh, look at it. This is an uh, all-power SP200 power station and uh, the first thing I see is it's quite large compared with the other power station and power banks I have and it's because there's a built-in inverter so you can have an AC output here so then you can charge your laptop. It weighs 1.3 kilos and uh, it has two USB outputs and a USB-C on the other side. Plus you can charge your phone wireless on the top. So you can charge five things at the same time. The um, SP200 have a capacity of 154 kilo or watt hour and it's the same as uh, 46,000 milliamps. And uh, <coughs> you can charge a laptop for one and a half hour you can charge a phone for about 14, 15 times, iPad eight times, and uh, what I'm doing a lot is charging smaller batteries for drones and for my camera. And uh, it's about 15, 16 batteries of this size you can, you can charge. So it's, uh, it's have a quite large capacity. When you're outdoor, you can charge it with the solar panel, and uh, indoor, you can charge it in uh, three different ways. First, use the wall charger that is included. Second, with a normal USB C. And third, use them both at the same time. And then you will have a very short charging time just one and a half hour and it's uh, charged 100% but uh, now let's see um, how fast I can charge it with the solar panel so the SP26 have four outputs one for the power station I have a USB-C and two normal USB so I built this little tripod of some sticks I found to have a good angle to the sun. The best is like a 90 degree angle to the sun and then uh, you get the maximum output out of a solar panel. And uh, it's about 12 o'clock, middle of the day, but still it's February, the sun is, is weak. And uh, let's see, it's charging with 47 watts hour right now. And the, the capacity is, is max 60, so um, I'll say for February it's, it's, it's really good. And uh, now it's about 10% charge, so um, I will wait for an hour, have a coffee and see how's it going then.
So now it's uh, one and a half hour. Had a coffee and uh, let's see. So now it's uh, eighty four percent, and uh, that's pretty good. It's uh, about one and a half hour, and it's charted up with yeah seventy. 75% in one and a half hour. It's still charging with uh, you know 46 watt hour. So um, yeah, it's a great way to get free energy from the sun, even in the winter. So with the SP200 and the SP26 solar panel, it's really a easy way to have a lot of power when you're out in the outdoor. It's not uh, really a kit for, for hiking, which what I'm doing most, but it's great for uh, any trip where weight doesn't matter so much, like a canoe trip, bicycle trip, any road trip with a car, motorbike, or if I would spend a lot of uh, time in a base camp doing a lot of filming, then um, if you just get the sun now and then, you can uh, you really have endless supply. So I just charted for one hour more, having another coffee, and uh, now it's at one hundred percent. So I've charged it for almost three hours and it's gone from 10 to 100 percent and uh, yeah that's really good in this weak February sun so I would guess in uh, in summertime you can change you can charge it in uh, yeah three hours in the middle of the day so that's uh, pretty fast so now we have a lot of power in here and uh, now gonna charge the different devices so there are five outputs. I'm charging my laptop, a headlamp, a drone, the controller to the drone, and wireless, I'm charging my phone on the top. So that was all for today. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.